WFIN News Director Doug Jenkins on the final stop of my levy tour this morning. We've been to Finley, we've been to Van Lu. Now we're here in Van Buren talking about the renewal levy that you'll see on the ballot coming up on Tuesday. Superintendent Tim Myers joining us. Thanks for uh, letting us stop by today. Thank you for the opportunity to speak to you and the people out there. So you have a renewal levy coming up on the ballot. Uh, it will show up as one issue, but it kind of is a two-part thing for you. It funds the district in two different ways. Tell us about how this works. This is a six-mill renewal levy that was first passed by the public back in 1994. Uh, in 1999, that levy was then divided into two sections, where 4.5 of those mills are directed toward the general operating funds of the district, and the other 1.5 mills are directed toward the permanent improvement funds of the district. And that's uh, sometimes where people get confused when it comes to how school districts are funded. It comes from the two sources, like you said, permanent improvement and the general operating funds. What does what, does what for the school when it t- comes to operations, salaries, things like sure. that? Well, the, the general operating fund is used by the district for the day-to-day operations of the fund. The money goes toward curriculum, that money goes toward utility bills, that money goes toward staff cost, that money goes toward supplies in the classrooms, and those type of things. The Permanent Improvement Fund is a fund that can only be used for items with a lifespan of five years or longer and goes to um, maybe repairs, uh, maybe buying new equipment, Uh, And we spend a portion of it on the technology purchases for our one-to-one program. When it comes to renewal levies, voters tend to be kind to it, but they do like to get an update of what their tax dollars are being used for or how they've been used in the last five years or whatever the term of the levy might be, depending on the district. Uh, how, would, uh, how would you describe how you've been stewards of the taxpayers' dollars uh, in this, this last levy cycle? Uh, well, we have... Uh, we have been uh, very cognizant of the of the taxpayers' dollars. Uh, we have not asked for any new money for the past, I think, fourteen years, uh, so we have been uh, steward good stewards of the money. And this is money that is always going to be needed. And that's the that's uh, why the one change to this levy is we are looking at taking this levy from being a on a five year renewable cycle to making it a continuous levy. That's uh, a lot of that has to do with, unfortunately, things like energy costs, things like that. They don't come down for you. No, absolutely. Our costs go up just like the homeowner's costs go up. And, and again, we've had no new money since uh, for about the past 14 years. So we need this just to continue what we're doing. We're not asking for new money just to continue what we've been doing. All right, not seeing any questions on the Facebook page here. So if people do have questions or want to learn more about the levy, where are some places they can get that information? Uh, well, they can go to our website, uh, vbschools.net, and there's, there's some information there. There's also a link to our Facebook page, and there will be some information there. Uh, we have some flyers that we've tried to pass out to different people in the community. We would be happy to supply those to anybody that wants or they could call the school and talk to myself or the treasurer, Alex Binger, and we would be happy to answer any questions people have on the levy. All right. Thank you for letting us come out today. I appreciate it. Thank you. And I thank everybody on the Facebook page for tuning in as we've gone through our tour of levies that you'll see on the ballots from area schools. Again, on our Facebook page right now, we have Finley, Van Lu, and now Van Buren. You can check out, get all the information there, uh, and let people in the community know uh, what the superintendent said to say. I'm Doug Jenkins reporting.